Today we're taking a quick look at this cool silicon controller case by Behorse for the DJI Mavic Air 2 and the DJI Air 2S. Now, why would you need a silicon controller case like this in the first place? Is it worth the money? And what does it do other than look pretty badass? Now, in just about three minutes, you'll have answers to these questions and more. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Dan. I do all sorts of drone related stuff. And I recently went on a shopping spree where I bought a whole bunch of drone accessories that I'll be giving away to you guys. Yes, you're welcome. So if you wanna participate in this giveaway, just stick around until the end of the video. In the meantime, click the subscribe button, but only if you're interested in drone content like this, because I wouldn't wanna clutter up your YouTube uh, subscription list. Now, why would you need a cool silicon controller case like this one? Well, surprisingly, I could actually come up with three reasons why you would need one. Well, reason number one is um, that it protects your controller. And it's as simple as that, it protects it from dirt, scratches, etc. And um, if you run the numbers, like a new controller costs you between 120 and $160 on the internet and a case like this runs you about ten dollars on amazon link is obviously down below in the description now that's reason number one reason number two is simply the look and feel i was quite surprised when i first put it on that it a fits the controller of the dji mavic air 2 really well yeah it also fits the controller of the dji air 2 s really well but that's not a surprise because they are the same they're literally the same so fits both of those um controllers and um yeah it just it's pretty thick silicon and it just feels really well and it gives it a little bit more more grip and reason number three is actually the reason why i bought this because i was hoping it comes like with a little loop or so where I can put my carabiner into and then when I do a self-tracking shot I can just put the carabiner on there and like attach the controller to the side of like my belt or my pants and then not have to be like the guy who's like running through the drone shot with a controller in his hands and then it looks much much more natural if the controller is not like that obvious in the shot. So that was the idea at least. Which brings me to my next point. What does it do other than look pretty badass and also feel pretty good? It pretty much just does that. And unfortunately it doesn't come with the little loop that I talked about. However, if you do have a carabiner, you can still accomplish what I was talking about. I mean, you could just like grab this part here in the back and then put your carabiner around there. And then um, once you start your self-tracking shot, you could still attach the controller to the side of your pants. It's not super ideal because again, this carabiner is made out of metal and then it might scratch your plastic a little bit. So it's not optimal, but like if you just do it every now and then, I suppose it works. Or you could get like a, I don't know, a plastic carabiner or so to not scratch your um, controller. So finally, is it worth the money? Well, it costs $10 on Amazon and my opinion is yes, absolutely actually. And I was so surprised because I'm not a big person on like accessorizing my drone beyond the bare minimum needs. But this case fits the controller perfectly. It feels really good in my opinion. If you compare the two of them, I think it looks really good. And um, for $10, it protects the controller. If you're ever thinking about reselling your DJI Air 2S or Mavic Air 2, man, that's a mouthful. Then um, it's probably a good idea to keep it protected so that when you do resell it, then you can resell like a shiny new looking controller. So that's all I have to say about this uh, B-Horse silicone DJI Mavic Air 2 controller case. Comes in a bag like this, nothing to write home about, but it's a $10 product. So if you're interested in getting this for free, um, all you gotta do is share this video or any one of my other videos on Facebook with your friends and screenshot it. And then send me that screenshot to dan at urockwedrone.com. And I'll announce the winner of this giveaway in about two months. 
in about two months. And if you have more time on your hands, I'm reviewing a whole bunch of more drone accessories that are all part of this playlist, starting with the shopping spree video that I mentioned earlier. So go check those out in the meantime and give this video a good old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about drone products, drone flying, etc. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Thank you.